this print file for a caravan on a Danish Facebook site. I forgot who put it up. Uh, it was in 1 to 12, but I shrinked it a whole lot. So it is now in 1 to a 144. I will not be able to link the print file for this as this is not my print file. But you can see the shape here and maybe even make your own print file. I cut out all the pieces, but actually I only need these three. I took a piece of clay in a color that I like for the inside of the caravan. And I rolled it out on a sitting six on my pasta machine. I made two sides of the caravan and two end pieces. In the side you saw me do here, I made a door. I'm going to turn my pieces around as the side that is down has this weird surface. I am going to cover that part with some planks that I'm going to make out of this piece of white clay that I rolled through my pasta machine in the smallest, thinnest setting on it. And then I baked it for around 10 minutes. And I'm just going to cut out pieces in around half a centimeter uh, wide. I'm going to use my bacon bond to kind of glue these strips to the parts that we made earlier and I'm going to glue it onto this uh, back side that is not that neat after being baked on this glass plate. When I put the next piece on here I am going to overlap the first one a tiny bit so that it has this kind of texture and I like that. I'm going to do that on all parts that you see here, so they're covered this way.
After baking, I cut off the pieces, the excess on the side pieces and on the door. In the end pieces, I am only cutting out the window part. So now it looks like this. I left the excess pieces on the end. This way they can uh, cover the end on the side pieces. Then I rolled out a piece of light gray colored clay that have the same thickness as these pieces have. I marked where the window frame is on this piece and I cut it out. I actually did put a little bacon bond on the inside of the window frame before I pushed it down over this little grey piece. Then I cut the inside out of this little frame and I'm doing that in all the windows. I use the same circle cutter that I used for the sides of the car for cutting out some wheels and I cut this out of black clay that had the same thickness as the car sides itself. I made all four wheels just like this. Then I rolled out a snake of clay and I cut four small pieces of it and I am shaping them to go around the wheel as a wheel cap. I'm gonna do that on all four wheels and I'm kind of gluing them on with bacon bond. After I did that I'm going to place a tiny bit of clay right here in the door frame making sure it's not touching anything. Then I'm going to put a tiny bit of bacon bond on the door and placing it so it's open and this little piece of clay will keep it open while baking. When it has cooled down I am putting some UV resin into each little window frame. Do not lift the clay after baking, just leave it on the glass plate because that will make a seal for the resin not to uh, go under. So I'm just putting it into each window and making sure it's all out to the edges and it's full. Now it's time to glue the sides together into the caravan. And I am gluing the side pieces here onto the white part of the end pieces but so that you don't see the white part inside of the caravan. That was a bit tricky, but I think I got it just like this. Leave it to dry all the way up and then you can cut off the excess clay from the sides of the caravan.
Then I rolled out a piece of black clay on a thicker setting on my pasta machine and I measured the bottom of the caravan so that I could cut a piece that fits into the hole at the bottom of it. So here is the caravan all done with the bottom and so on. I am not gluing the bottom inside the caravan yet because I want to make some furnitures first. We're going to make that in next week, so I hope you will join right there as well. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!